Hey YouTube, my name is Eve the Weed. Please like, share, and subscribe, honey. The girls have called in to gather Amon Wiggins yesterday, honey, on his live. And I'm happy that he posted it. And it was like a key. Like, I love Amon Wiggins' show. But why do y'all always feel like he don't talk about both girls? And I'm talking about Cardi B and Nikki. I don't understand why y'all feel like people flip-flop when it... Like, my thing is, if their music is popping at the time, their music is popping. If they don't have no music out, like he's been talking about with Cardi B, she does. I agree with him on. Cardi B needs to bring out some type of music. I'm, I'm not understanding why we still stuck on Tomorrow Part 2. Listen, I agree with him on. But let's get into what his caller called in and said and tried to read him for Phil. Crazy. You never gonna see me stressing my. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. See, I got okay. a few things to say okay. because when you say Nikki don't want to do the back and forth for Lotto, it's because why would you stoop low mm. and engage in a rock beef with somebody who's not charting? You know who you sound your... like right now. And I'm not even being funny. I don't know if it's because I'm high. Mm. Roland Ray. Do you know him? Oh, we go from D.C. That's why. Okay, yes. I'm like, girl, you sound like Roland Ray. Okay, go ahead. So, yeah, Lotto is not on Nikki's level. She's not going to stoop low to okay. bring Lotto up. The only thing that back and forth does is bring Lotto up. If you peek after they saw beefing, yes. Lotto, Lotto got her own Apple Music show. She mm -hmm. doesn't deserve the back and forth. She's a new girl. And secondly, I want to speak on why you think that you should be oh. on Queen Radio. Okay. You disrespecting Nicki Minaj and you kind of like talked about her family. You talked about her court cases. But you have never okay. broken down anybody else's court cases when people have sent men to attack women at strip clubs mm. and things like that. It's kind of like when you did it with Nicki, you like went all in, but you didn't do that with nobody else. And I feel like a lot of people, I've seen you retweet a tweet on Twitter talking about Joe Budden. She did it with Joe Budden. That's because Nikki had a relationship with Joe Budden. She okay. forgave Drake because she had a relationship with Drake. She has a relationship with certain people she respects. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I don't think you deserve to go on Queen Radio mm -hmm. after you've been on the internet currying on with all this stuff about between her and Cardi. At first, you didn't like Cardi. You were saying she wasn't black. Then you didn't like Nikki. Now it's kind of like you're trying to be neutral, but I think it's a little bit too late for the neutral stuff because you don't okay. already said and talked about the family. I've never talked about her family. You did though, and you talked about what her did family. I say? You said she was married to I a talked pedophile. about her husband. You dug deep into her. Okay, that's her family. She's married to him. You dug deep into her case, and I can understand if you would have did that to both her and Cardi. If you would talk about Cardi cases, that's fine. I did talk so about Cardi B one cases. Way over here and I did one talk way about Cardi. Wait, do ma'am, did you forget? No, you talk about Cardi? her against Tasha K. You talk about her against Tasha K. You don't bring up the fact that she sent grown men to strip clubs to beat on them for cheating with Offset. You don't talk yes, about that. We you don't did. talk about how she blamed that black woman, the makeup mm. artist. Lied on her like she used drugs, called that baby a dead monkey. You you don't talk about that, but it's like you always drag on Nikki. So I can understand okay. if you were very, I can understand if you did both. But I don't think you should go on Queen Radio when you have like played a train, played a part in the hate train. Like that's kind of crazy to me. Okay, so. You've mm -hmm. never heard me drag Cardi B at all and say nothing about Cardi B? Yeah, you dragged Cardi B when it was kind of like when she was first coming in, when you said that she she shouldn't be saying nigga because you don't think she's black and all this stuff. Then you started dragging Nikki. It's like you you don't play it neutral. You're not, as much as you say like, oh, I'm not on this side, I'm not on this side. You, right. you, you're you trying to be that way now, but you didn't, you, 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 you didn't used to be that way. It used to be very much so, let me drag Cardi. Then it was, okay, let me get on Cardi's team and drag Nikki. Now you're trying to make it seem like, okay, I'm not on this side, I'm not on this side. That's and so what is your point? Like and so, so, that was, so we're talking about five like, years ago, is, and we're five years we're five years Radio. ahead now. We're five, five years, years ahead. Five years ahead, and you're still talking about Queen Radio. So this is what I'm letting you know. You shouldn't be on Queen Radio when you're not already uh -huh. disrespecting Nikki and her family. 
It does not work like that. Then you're trying to compare it to Joe Budden. Joe Budden talked about her doing perks, whatever the fuck, but she did not sit. He did not sit there and say, "Oh yeah, your family, your family." He didn't. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Now, call him. Why you call in and try to drag him on like that? Why y'all doing this to y'all people that y'all be watching? Why? He... <laughs> I gotta laugh because y'all always be doing this to y'all people. Y'all always do. Y'all watch Amal Wiggins all the time. I feel like he treats the girls. Do he treat them equally? Mm, it depends on what day of the week it is for him. But he pretty much treats them equally. I don't understand what the problem is. Why do y'all always do this to Amar Wiggins? I don't get it. Leave that man alone and let him conduct his channel the way that he wants to. A lot of y'all call us is messy boobs, okay? Y'all are messy. And clearly, she was a you know, she was down with Nicki Minaj and her team because listen, Linda. Listen. She was caping. So I don't get it. All because she wanted to really get out the part where Cardi B sent guys allegedly to go beat up the strippers that allegedly slept with Offset. Allegedly. Like, come on. Because that's what she really wanted to get out. Off all of that, she shouldn't have said that from the beginning because that's what she really wanted to let everybody know. You know, I don't think that's fair. Leave them all Wiggins alone. My name is Eve Dewey. Please like, share, and subscribe. Y'all need to stop. Y'all, some of y'all are very messy in these YouTube streets. I'm going to need y'all to stop it. I got to go later.